Hi there, my name's John Maybe, and welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to take a look at the classic chest x-ray findings we see in patients with chronic congestive heart failure. So let's take a look at the x-ray. This is, of course, the upright posterior anterior chest x-ray study. So what we see here are the items that are labeled in green. So these represent stage one heart failure or the vascular redistribution phase. So what we see is cardiomegaly. So cardiomegaly, again, is determined, uh, how do we make that determination? We measure from the right heart border to the left heart border. If that distance is greater than 50% of the transthoracic diameter, that qualifies as cardiomegaly. We also see cephalization of the pulmonary vasculature. So here we have engorgement of the, uh, the pulmonary arteries, and that's because of the increase in venous pressure. So that pressure gets transmitted backwards. We get enlargement of these vessels. They're pointing up toward the head, so we would describe that as cephalization. The items that are labeled in yellow are stage 2 heart failure, and this represents interstitial edema. Here, we can make out hyalur fullness and haziness, and we can also see curly B lines. Curly B lines are that interstitial edema that we see in the fibrous septal regions. So these are linear markings that we see on the peripheral margins of the lung, and typically they're about two centimeters or so in length. Lastly, we see the item labeled in red. This is stage three, heart failure. And in this circumstance, we have alveolar edema. That gets reflected uh, through a few uh, mechanisms. One is pleural effusion, which we can see in this particular case, where we have that hyperdensity that's filling that horizontal fissure on the right-hand side. In this stage, we also see air bronchograms and, of course, alveolar infiltrates. All right, that wraps it up for this Hippo Short. For more information on this or other topics, come on down to hippoeducation.com, and we'll see you next time.